As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave and we are happy that we have sold some clothing. You know, we sell one piece or two piece here and there, but we sold four of them today and they were for pretty good prices as well, including one of the vintage items that we got from the Mount Plushmore sale. I used to call it the Plush Nirvana, but I think I'm gonna call it the Mount Plushmore sale. That's the one that we dug through on Commonwealth Flipper, but we bought all of it at a garage sale that we went, it wasn't really a garage sale. I don't know why we use those terms. I don't know what you would call this one. It was inside of a Ruritan building, and we were very fortunate to get there on a day that was really, really cold, and we ended up making a bunch of money. And this was one of the shirts that we picked up, 1980 shirts, and I've listed some of them for a great deal of money. And this one sold for $50, and a viewer bought it very quickly after I listed it because they saw it and were waiting for me to list it. So well, let's take a look at that one in here in just a second. We're happy about that sale, and we're happy about quite a few others, so let's go ahead and take a look. All right, the first one is from a garage sale that uh, I can't remember the name of. Actually, you know what? I take it back. I think, and I'm not positive, I think this one was from the Fun at the Flea yard sale. And it's like a flea market slash church parking lot sale that they do in the on season um, once a month, the first Saturday of each month. I thought it would sell a little quicker. We made a killing off of this stuff. And this is one of, I think, just the two pieces that are left. It's a really nice woman's embroidered Harley jacket. And I thought I would get a little bit more for it, to be honest with you. But I am happy it sold this season, and it sold for $33 plus shipping. I was thinking it was at least a $40 jacket, but it ended up still selling for $33. And I'm really happy that we sold it. I did a media mail episode on Commonwealth Flipper the other day. And I mentioned this video. I hear a dog in there, or a cat or something. Hold on a minute. All right, y'all, this is the ornery cat. I call her the punk cat. She seems sweet, but she's about as ornery as, as they come. So I'm gonna have to go put her upstairs so she don't dig through all my stuff down here. You gonna say hi? I guess not. At any rate, this was one of the items I brought up because a lot of people think this would not qualify for media mail. It's like it's a magazine. Maybe it's like a comic book. It's not. This is a guidebook and a strategy book. It has no advertising in it. So it would qualify media mail. And this one didn't sell for much, but it came out of the came out of the free box from the Mount Plushmore sale. And we dug through that one on Commonwealth Flipper. And this one we decided we'd sell it. It's actually got quite a bit of value, but the condition makes it worth not very much. It sold for $9 plus shipping. All right, so here is an item that sold, and I think it might have been drop shipped, although I'm not positive. I'll have to read the message to you here in a second. This is a Revere Wear lid, and it is a 10 inch or 9.58 inches. So occasionally I'll buy like a box of Revere Wear. They have a little bit of value. This lid sold for $8 plus shipping. So, and the shipping was priority mail, and I'm not sure I have to ship it priority mail, but I probably will since that's what they paid for. And it is going to uh, make not a huge profit, but around $6.50 profit. And I usually buy these things in boxes for like five bucks. And then I sell the, the different parts and pieces off. And we make pretty decent money on it. If I have a box full already, I won't buy any more. But if I don't have any, I'll usually pick it up. The message says, thank you for selling me your item. The item is going to a good friend of mine as a gift. So could you please leave out any packing slips, papers, or forms when you ship the item. I want it to be a surprise. I already updated the address to my friend's address. Go ahead and ship to the address provided. This means that you are protected entirely under seller protection. Don't worry about eBay tape, eBay label. That's 100% okay. Uh, attach it to the box, thanks. So you tell me. Hey baby. Come on, come on in, you wanna come on in? Oh, I do. All right, I've been having lots of guests tonight, so Reagan just come out. She just told me I owe her money. So what did you take pictures of? All the animals. 
Oh, or she the, took some um, creatures. All the creatures. She took some pictures of more of the uh, the leftovers. We still have some of the Mount Plushmore sale left. All right. Well, thanks for visiting me. Want to say hi? Love you. Love you too. You want to stay in here while I do the video? Yeah. Okay. All right. So these that sold, Reagan's gonna stay in here. These sold Carter every step. And these are ten ninety five, and I didn't buy these. I don't think I did, anyways. I think Blue Ridge Mama must have bought them at Goodwill for two dollars. Is what they would have cost. Sold for eleven, so it's not a huge profit. But after fees and shipping, all it's probably around seven, eight dollars. All right, so I had a bit of a equipment malfunction, or what I thought was some equipment malfunction. Reagan was quick to point point out that it wasn't equipment malfunction at all. It was user error. At any rate, you'll notice that the shirt that I wanted to talk about is gone. It's actually shipped up ready to go and on its way to its destination and i didn't quite realize what i had done so i've got to come back and talk about a couple items that i had already talked about but i don't have on video anymore so i'm going to do something that i don't often do which is put sold items into the listings i'll be honest i don't do that because it takes a lot of time i'm going to put those up right here and they'll be full full pictures and then i'll talk about each item really quick because i did make some really really good clothing sales and I, I'm pretty excited about, it's like uh, Heart Pickers right here, you know. If you don't know who that is, he's one of the best clothing sales guys on YouTube. And he's been here for a long, long time. You should go check out his, his channel. I did make some nice sales with clothing and I do want to show them to you, even though they're on their way to their destination. But before I do that, I don't think this was a viewer, but in case it was, Mora, actually it might have been, to Animan. So thank you so, so much. We appreciate it. All right, here's one. I don't think I've talked about this one yet. Double XL. Bought them for $4.67 or $4.71. I can't remember. Only making about five bucks on these. It was retail arbitrage from Sam's Club. Really slow. Really, really slow. Clothing in general is slow for me, but this is going to take years to finally work through that pile of like 100, although we've probably sold 60 or 70 or so. All right, this is Kicks Plus More, and that's who bought this one. We really do appreciate it. Full price, by the way. Hi, I'm a subscriber to your YouTube channel. Love your videos and your little dog. I'm also an eBay reseller. Uh, I have my own YouTube channel. It's called KPM Flips. It says, I just got done watching Matt part-time picker videos where he opens up one of these that you sent him, and, uh, and he jumped over. So thank you so much. We do appreciate it. All right, two more really quick. I think both viewers, yeah, it looks like, yeah, they look like both viewers. And then we're going to talk about those clothes that sold for a really nice price. So this one is going out to Tammy. Tammy, thank you so much for your purchase. We really do appreciate it. I hope he brings you great luck reselling. All right, and this one is going out to Marna. And she says, hey, Kevin, full price, by the way. Very nice of you. Hey, Kevin, I am a Commonwealth eBayer trying to make ends meet in Nova toys and stuff for me i sell pretty much anything i know i will have a return on love fisher price little people not sure how much how much ends up being profit well i can tell you this if you're buying them at good prices and they're things that sell on ebay you're making profit it may be it may not be a ton but you're definitely making profit so we do appreciate it very much and we hope you brings you a good reselling look All right, that one is a Club America soccer jersey. We bought it at a yard sale. Matter of fact, it's the most popular garage sale video we've done so far. It's not my personal favorite, but it's been watched like 20,000 times. So that is awesome. And I think it's because of the, uh, the thumbnail, I gotta tell you. I think it's titled, like I better keep my mouth shut at this garage sale. And that shirt was in there for a buck and it sold for $21.50. All right, next one came from the Mount Plushmore sale. Uh, I think we have a video, matter of fact, I'm pretty sure we do, a video on Commonwealth Flipper going through this vintage clothing, and this is one of the items. This is, I think, the second or third best shirt out of there. And this one is going to a viewer. They said they watched it on Commonwealth Flipper and waited for me to list it. It is a date, 1987 Daytona Beach uh, Harley Motors. It's not really Harley branded, but it's got a Harley bike or an image of a bike that looks like a Harley on the front. And it sold for $50. So I cannot, Dylan, thank you so, so much. And for that really expensive purchase, I feel I feel bad when, when, when uh, viewers pay for an expensive item. But obviously, Dylan, you wanted that one, so we appreciate it. And I threw one in, in a man just, just for that. So I appreciate it so much. All right, I'm going to put one across the screen here, or I already have. I don't know what I'm going to do. 
And this is a members only uh, racer jacket, if you want to call it that, or bomber jacket, even though that's not really what it is. I'd put racer, um, put vintage in there, windbreaker, whatever you want to call it. It's brown, it's tan, khaki, whatever it is. And this one sold for a lot. And I don't, I've been selling these for a long time. For a while, they went down to like $14, $15 a piece. Looks like they've climbed back up a little bit. And this particular color went for $30 plus shipping. So I'm really happy about that sale. And the net that reminds me, I have to show you the uh, total on the Mount Plushmore sale here. And I have to show you the total with this sale right here. It's a club head cover from the Lost and Found Garage sale. And that one sold for $8.71, so it's not a huge profit. But another one goes out the door, so we're really happy about that. All right, hang around, and if you want, go back and check out for that one shirt. Check out where we bought that, or go to the Commonwealth Flipper channel and check out that vintage t-shirt haul, which is going to make us some pretty good money and add to the Mount Plushmore sale, um, which we've been making some good money on and we're happy about. So thank you so much for joining us, and as always, hang around for something else at the end. We appreciate you. See you next time. All right, so here is the total, the Daytona bike shirt here and the Nintendo guidebook, which I can't remember if it was on yesterday's or today. Anyways, almost $1,100, $10.99 from our initial $156 investment. And I know Blue Ridge Mama just listed a bunch of stuff, um, not big priced items on the Commonwealth, or excuse me, on the Homeschool Hustler store. Reagan took pictures of them, and so she's proud of that. And she's doing a good job and we paid her i think she earned four dollars for all the pictures she took of those so that's really nice and she's a saver boy turner's a spender you know because they get to save money every time they do it i put a buck in their account but also give them a dollar reagan saves the dollar that i give her to spend and turner spends the heck out of it which is okay i mean he's only six so that's good all right and the total for lost and found golf course sale is up to $327 from the initial $250 buy and that one's over on the Commonwealth Flipper channel as well and thank you so much for the support over there those videos are getting lots and lots of views even though most of them are how-to's but some of them are shipping too at any rate thank you all so much we really do appreciate each and every one of you